All right, here we go. We have the women up here for the women's elite class for the Mud Dauber National Enduro. This is your women's elite podium. Looks like in third place we have Trail Jester KTM Corey Steed. Based on what I saw out there, it was about epic conditions, perfect, as good as it can be. Uh, we missed you at the last couple of Enduros. Good to see you back, healthy, riding again and up on the podium. So tell us a little bit about your day and how it went. Yeah, for it being my first ride back um, on the Enduros, I'm excited and uh, felt good to be out there, but I was on the ground far too many times. Uh, but yeah, we uh, learned and we'll move on. Yeah, that's the way to do it, especially coming back from injury. It's good to see your paces up there. Uh, we can see you at the last round and fight for that win, get a win on the year. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Who do you like to thank on the on the third place today? Yeah, Monday for running around all day, making sure my bike was dialed. Uh, the tr whole Trail Dressers KTM team, Moose Racing, uh, Pit Viper, Dunlop, FMF, uh, solid performance, um, and everyone else helping me out. Thank you. Awesome. Good job, Corey. Uh, yeah, and the over and out gas, gas. This is pretty close to home for you. Uh, so you probably came in, what, this morning and got to ride close to home, and you're going to be home early. So tell us a little bit about how your day went. Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, I've been riding this Enduro for many, many years, well before I started following your guys' series, and I think these are the best conditions I've ever seen. Like, it was a total blast out there. Couldn't have had more fun. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's definitely good to see you. You're riding good all year long. It's, I think this is the last race we're going to see you this time. So um, it's definitely great to have you up here this year, and uh, good to see you riding well, and we wish you the best at the Enduro Crosses. So tell us a little bit of who you'd like to thank on the whole series. Well, first off, I do want to offer congratulations to Mackenzie Tricker on her title. I was uh, kind of sad. Without me going to the last round, this is the last time I'll ever race her, you know? So it's like trying extra hard in those tests to see if I could give her a good send-off, which I couldn't. But, um, yeah, so congratulations. What, fourth title? Fifth. Fifth? So, yeah, and then, of course, I want to thank all of my sponsors, Gas Gas, Over and Out, Moose, Arai, 9-2, Wheelworks, XC Gear, and Enduro Engineering. We awesome. have Mackenzie Tricker. Like uh, Rachel said, this wraps up number five. So awesome to see it. And it's not only five championships, it's five in a row. So that's pretty awesome to see. So I know you like this place. You always ride well here. So tell us about how your day went first. And uh, yeah, anything crazy happen or just a smooth, consistent day all day? Um, yeah, I love this place. Um, actually won this race five years in a row now as well. So I love coming here. Um, I was a little nervous with the rain. <laughs> um, you know, I don't like it to be slippery and muddy. I'd rather be dusty, but um, honestly, it was so good. Um, couldn't have asked for better conditions, but um, honestly, pretty um, easy day. Like nothing crazy happened. I crashed in test two, but other than that, just um, yeah, it was a good day. Awesome. So it sounds good. Um, so here I have our AMA National Enduro Championship plate. It's a women's elite overall. So we're going to present this to Mackenzie Tricker on her fifth overall title. So congratulations, Mackenzie, on that. So on your fifth title, obviously you got a lot of people helping you out. So who you like to thank? Um, yeah, big thanks to Enduro Engineering Gas Gas uh, for helping me out this year. Uh, Fly, they've you know had my back for 10 years. I've been over here. Um, Alpine Star, Motor X, uh, XC Gear, Mika Metals, um, Enduro Engineering, Dunlop, uh, my husband Dylan, Napa for helping me, and then shout out to my mom and my stepdad for being here today too. Awesome. Good job, Mackenzie. So this is your 2023 AMA National Champion, Mackenzie Tricker, as well as the Mud Dog. All right. So now we're moving into our Pro 2 class, our any Pro 2 class. We've got uh, three riders up here. First one we're going to talk to here is Bone Cutter Off-Road Gas Gas Rider Thorn Devlin. Um, Thorn, you told me earlier you thought you were having a good day and then results didn't quite show it. So uh, I know the conditions were epic. I'm sure it was just an awesome ride anyway. But tell us a little bit of how your day went. Yeah, it was uh, sometimes those are the most frustrating days. You know, some days you're like, man, I'm killing it. You're on rails. I didn't touch the ground, didn't really hit any trees, just rode really good. and. Got the section one win. I wasn't looking at scores all day. Um, and yeah, I just got smoked. But it happens, and I'm happy to be on the podium. And uh, Liam, you know, we're, we've been going at it for the championship, and this is the first time that him and I are on the podium together. Usually when I win, uh, he's like a fourth, and then vice versa. So it's cool that we're both on the podium, and we're both hungry. Um, he's leading the points in GNCC, too, so he's riding super well and grant rode well today too but um yeah it's just one of those days i rode rode as best as i could but at the end of the day i sit here in third and i can't can't be too upset because it's not for lack of trying you know and uh yeah i'm healthy that's the biggest part yeah for sure and 
I mean, we've all seen you ride. We know that uh, just kind of your riding style. We know that you're all hanging it out there for sure. So that's really cool to see. And, and like you said, you and Liam have had a, a great battle all season long. And uh, to have you both on the podium is rare, but uh, to see you both fighting for the championship is really cool. So let's uh, let's hear who you'd like to thank on getting the third place today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, massive respect to Liam. It's like there's a lot of pressure on the line, you know, especially with running for his team and stuff. So super kudos to him. He's responding well to it. And I have a lot of respect for that. He's a good competitor. But uh, bone cutter off road. Uh, my girlfriend, Rissa, she ran around running pit today for me. So that was super useful to have. Um, K Tech suspension, works enduro riders, uh, XC gear, phase moto, bike graphics, um, DK motorsports. Uh, E-Line accessories and, and my whole family. I got a big family behind me watching scoring all day and uh, I, I always know in my head I got that so that's that's cool and um, just everybody who support me right now going to Argentina uh, at the end of the month I'm super thankful for that and uh, it's a lot of good opportunities ahead. Awesome sounds good it sounds like you got a, a pretty full schedule coming up for you so we wish you the best uh, for the rest of the season for sure. Uh, moving on to the second place is Trail Jester KTM Grant Davis so uh, haven't seen you up here a whole lot, but definitely uh, a rider that's ready to contend in this class. And uh, this is your first year in it, so to see you get another podium here is uh, cool to see. Tell us about your day and how it went. Oh uh, well, I started off good. I messed up fourth or fourth or fifth test pretty good. Lost a, quite a bit of time to Liam, and then last test again, I thought I had him and I went down, but he was riding good today too, and I'm happy about second. Awesome. Yeah, I did see the scores. You guys were close, and. And you were definitely pushing it, so that's cool to see. And tell us who you'd like to thank on second place today. Trail Jesters, Renthal, Alpine Star, Moose, uh, X Brand, XC Gear, my mechanic, uh, Ranch Russell, everybody else, Dunlop, everybody else I forgot. Awesome, good job on the second place today, Grant Davis. Moving to our winner of the Pro 2 class. Uh, last race we were in Ohio, you won there, and then you said. Uh, the, the key to getting the championship done is to keep that 21 on your bike, and, and you did it. So you're the first Pro 2 rider to keep the 21 on your bike. Tell us how your day went and how it feels to keep that 21. Yeah, obviously, uh, every time me or Thorne get 21, we're uh, off the podium. So it's super cool to be on the podium together. He's uh, been fun to battle with all year, definitely riding good. And uh, But, yeah, my day started off super slow. He smoked me the first test, and I thought, yep, 21 ain't the number. And... We managed to claw my way back, test two was good, and then, uh, yeah, just chipped away all day and um, only had one crash today, so it was a good day. Yeah, it uh, definitely looked good. You were up on top pretty much all day, which is, is key to keeping that win going, and uh, we had epic conditions, so let's hear who you'd like to thank on, on getting the first place today. Yeah, just a massive thanks to the whole Ampro Yamaha team, my mechanic, Derek, for everything he does, uh, Corey, and all the other boys at the shop, um, Randy, Donnie. My fiance, Nikki, um, and all the family, um, Moose Racing, CD, Carry Resources, Scott Goggles, um, and yeah, everyone else, thank you. Awesome. I got one more question for you. Are we going to keep that 21 one more time? Are we going to win in Alabama and have a champagne shower for the championship? That's the plan. We'll see if we can go three in a row. All right. Sounds good. So this is your Any Pro 2 podium for the Mudauber National Enduro. All right, here we go. So we have the premier class up here now. We have the Any Pro 1 class for the Mud Dauber National Enduro. As you can see over here, we got a lot of number ones on you, Grant. You had uh, you had on the back plates, and now you get to rep it on the front plate once again for your second in a row and third overall championship. So tell us a little bit about how your day went. Was it kind of just conserve and finish where you needed to, or were we pushing it going for the win, and these guys just edged you out? Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, started out the day giving it all I had and uh, actually went in about 100 miles into the first test at the first little rock pile and down by the river there and uh, almost ended up in the river so uh, ended up bending up my bars a little bit and stuff and then kind of kind of struggled that first test ended up falling over again a little little while after that fell over twice within the first mile probably and then uh, yeah after that it was kind of a struggle for me today as uh, you know I just had to finish basically a spot behind Josh uh, to get the championship and uh, started out the day he was the head of, head of steward and um that wasn't going to cut it for the for the championship so uh, i had that in my head a little bit and trying to push it um trying to catch back up in those you know second third test and uh then you know the the race kind of settled down steward and josh were a minute ahead of me after after the third test so at that point i kind of just went into uh you know salvage mode and just kind of brought it home for a third place because uh i think after 
after the fourth or fifth test. I was a minute down from those guys and a minute ahead of fourth. So it would have been silly for me to go out there and push it and uh, fall over and, you know, cost myself the championship. So, yeah, I started out the day with, with the mindset of going for a win. I've, I've always done well here in the past, so uh, it's a good track for me to do it. And, uh, yeah, it, it just didn't work out. These guys, these guys put it on me today. Yeah, they both were on rails for sure. It was cool seeing them go back and forth. They were real close. You weren't too far behind. Great racing all around from all of you. So I'd like to go ahead and present to you the 2023 AMA National Championship, the overall championship for the second year in a row, Grant Baylor. So congratulations. Thank you. Obviously, it's not something you do by yourself. I'm sure you got a lot of people to thank. So who do you like to thank on getting that championship once again? Uh, the whole Babbitts Online Monster Energy Kawasaki team and uh, the whole team for all the work they do and uh, help them out here at the track. Um, yeah, they all came out today and uh, watched me get it done. That was cool. So, uh, yeah, and then obviously my, my whole family, um, my brother, everybody, uh, my grandparents, dad, everybody for coming out and, you know, all they've, all they've done, done to get me to this point. Um, you know, I couldn't have, couldn't have done it without my family, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, it was always good to have my big brother to chase around and uh, try to beat him. So I got to thank him for that. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, the rest of the team, um, Showy Helmets, X-Brand Goggles, JDP Suspension. Uh, this is my third championship on JDP, and uh, stuff works really good. So big shout-out to Jay. And, uh, yeah, Dunlop Tires, uh, Henson, and, uh, yeah, anybody else I'm forgetting, thank you. Awesome. Good job, Grant, and congratulations on that third championship. Moving over here into the second place, we have Enduro Engineering Gas Gas rider Josh Toth. You and Stu were just back and forth all day. It seemed like you were right within a second, and then kind of at the end he edged you out, but you certainly had a good ride going, and so tell us a little bit about how it went. Yeah, I, I started off the day strong. I felt, uh, felt much better um, compared to the last round. I was a bit under the weather, so just rested up and uh, knew I had to come into this one and be aggressive throughout the whole test, and uh, because everyone was flying and uh, yeah, my results showed it last time that I was a little off. So yeah, really put it down and won the first test. Felt great in the second and uh, about halfway, three quarters of the way through, it came into a really tight section and uh, just got slapped around in a couple of small trees. It caught my shifter and ripped it off. So I was stuck in third gear there and managed that one pretty good to get out of it. And uh, yeah, fr from there on I had a uh, maybe two other pretty decent sized wrecks there's just a lot of stuff hiding in the grass there today and uh yeah I, I felt really good when i was off the ground but then uh later in the day i was just feeling really fatigued my arms arms were feeling it for sure but um yeah props to these guys they're ripping and especially Stu. uh we were close neck and neck there for a while but uh he turned it out on test four or five there yeah yeah good job on that josh sounds like yeah you had a pretty good day going but just a couple mishaps and you know in indiana there's a lot there's fields there's creeks and all sorts of stuff that uh can come up and bite you so it's definitely being smooth as fast so um who do you like to thank on second overall today yeah i'd like to thank the enduro engineering gas gas team friends and family napper for wrenching on it all day keeping it going um yeah just everyone out here that supports me and yeah there's pretty cool uh some spectator sections i've seen people out there so yeah everyone out there it's it's cool to see people during an enduro and uh yeah my all my sponsors 100 percent awry seven gear and uh alpine star and everyone else yeah i appreciate it awesome good job we've got levi baylor up here because dad's here in the center spot so we'll get uh we'll get a word from Stu here first and then we'll see what levi has to say about your riding so this is three wins in a row so obviously at the end of the season you're coming on strong Probably would have liked to start off a little bit sooner and uh, maybe fight Grant for that championship, but you're definitely coming on strong here, and uh, the end of the season, you're doing well, and are we going to see another win in Alabama? I would like to say that that, that it's very realistic right now, um, just feeling really good, better than I have in a long time, and, um, you know, on, on and off the bike, just things are working right now, and, um, you know, it's uh, it's it, it, it was kind of, getting back to what I used to do when, when I was winning before and that was travel around and, and enjoy racing and that's what we've been doing, spending a lot of time on the road and putting in the work, chasing settings, um, coming up with a, with a 